What's up everyone, it's SP Zaman and in this video we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys every wonder weapon. Um from origin stabs like this to the ray gun. So also I've already recorded a bit of gameplay ahead of time and sorry if I sound a bit down in it. I was just recorded some of this gameplay at a fairly late time, so I'm a bit I was tired. And yeah, so I'm just gonna be showing you all the wonder weapons in BO3 and BO4, which is most of them. I I couldn't get BOT, BO2, wonder weapons just due to um, not having being able to get gameplay from that game. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Here's the gameplay for the ray gun. Here we go. Yes, this is everyone knows the ray gun. So yeah, that's this is the unupgraded version, and I'll show the upgraded version next. All right, here's the gameplay for the pack a punch ray gun. It's the same exact thing except more ammo. So yeah, on to the next weapon. All right, here's gameplay for the unupgraded Wonder Wolf, and everyone basically knows what this gun does. And yeah, time for the pack a punch version. Here's some um, quick gameplay of the upgraded Wonder Wolf. And I just want to say that I apologize if I'm not saying too much about the weapon. I'm, the main purpose of this video is just to show it off. And to, yeah, just show what the weapons do. And that's why all the clips are pretty short and sweet. So, yeah, on to the next one. Alright, here is the Thunder Gun. And it doesn't matter what round around because it will do this much damage anyways. And yeah, this is the non-Pack-A-Punch version, so. And yeah, that's it. And here we are, we have the Thunder Gun Pack Punch, the Zeus Cannon. It's the same thing as the Thunder Gun, but with more ammo, and that's really it. I mean, it it's super fun to use. Yeah, then that's about it, yep. <laughs> There's Howl, this is the Black Ops 4 version, obviously. And I just gotta wait for some zombies to spawn, apparently. There we go. It just shoots ice at them. It's... Not that great, but on early rounds, it's pretty good. You'll see here. And... Yeah, I'll show you the upgraded version next. Gameplay for the pack a punch or upgraded Winter's Howl, which is the Winter's Fury. It's quite similar to the exact same thing, except more ammo. Kind of like most weapons that we've already covered, but yeah, uh, on to the next weapon. Here is the... 3179 JGB215, also known as the Baby Maker. This is my favorite wonder weapon by far. And I do think the 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 BO1 one is better just because there's no like resistance when running through the babies, but still this gun is awesome and you'll and the upgraded version is cool as well, which you'll see next. So yep. Alright, here is the pack a punched baby maker. Which, it's the same thing, more ammo, and I think the zombies are smaller, longer, and yeah, on to the next one. This is the zap gun slash wave gun. Um, unpack punched, obviously, and this is the zap gun portion. And then, this is the wave gun portion. Again, unpack punched, so, yeah. This is the zap gun uh, pack punched. And... This is the wave gun portion of that pack bunch. It's basically the same thing again, more ammo, kind of like the thunder gun. But yeah. And we got the ray gun mark two here, and this is the non papped version. Obviously, everyone knows this gun and this is the black ops 3 version which is what we're gonna be seeing they're pretty similar anyways so yeah this is this is it it's it's pretty fun to use and that's all yeah that's this is your gameplay <laughs> and this is the ray gun mark 2 pack a punch and it's obviously a lot better but we're still on a pretty low round but it's still very good clearly and it's gonna last you a bit and yeah that's the ray gun mark 2 Gat footage, obviously the Blood of the Dead version, because we're only doing BO3 and BO4. And, yes, it's just a very, very, very powerful shotgun. And I believe there's five Wonder Weapons on this map, including the unpapped and papped versions. So I'll be showing you all of those as well. And you'll see more footage when this is the Pack-a-Punch version, but yeah. The Sweeper, which is the 
upgraded or pack punched version of the 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 uh, the, the, the the thing <laughs> the blunder get the weapon that I just showed but yeah and on to the next version of this weapon is the acid gat which is another version of the blunder get again and this is the unupgraded version of this version <laughs> I know it's very confusing but or maybe that's just me but yeah so I'll be showing you the vitrolic withering it next is the vitrolic withering I believe I'm saying that correct um, it's crazy actually this is one of I've only used it a few times so I'm still getting a little used to it, but it's it's a crazy gun. It's different than literally any gun that I've ever seen. So yeah, you just shoot them, and it and or it somehow gets to the other zombies as well. It's crazy, but yeah. And the last one will be the magma guy, which I'll be showing you next. It is very close to like using a uh, blast furnace or whatever it's called in this game, blast furnace, and like a mini monkey bomb basically it's it's awesome <laughs> and i'll show you the pack punched version next all right here is the oh upgraded magma gat <laughs> which is just it lasts longer and does more damage also more ammo as well so oh yeah anyway very powerful weapon it kills a lot of zombies as you can see and yeah that is blood of the dead finished finally and on to the next ones Right, this is gameplay for the unupgraded lightning staff, which um, we can use it on the Panzer, actually. There we go. This thing destroys the Panzer. It's definitely not one of the best for zombies, but it's super good against the Panzer, and you'll see it upgraded in a few seconds. So, yeah. And here's the upgraded lightning staff. It is very, very similar to the non-upgraded, but it has a charged attack, which does that which is pretty cool actually so yeah that's the lightning staff all right we got the unupgraded fire staff here and yeah it's does it really it's better when upgraded obviously yeah. we'll skip to that all right here is the upgraded fire staff or i'm not even gonna try and pronounce any of these staffs so basically the staff the charged power is yeah it's like a I don't know. It's fire that just bounces around. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, that's uh, the fire staff. So on to the next one. This gameplay for the unupgraded ice staff. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty good on early rounds. And it's good for camping to get to high rounds. But that's, well, that's the upgraded version, obviously, which I'll be showing right after this clip. But yeah, this is the unupgraded staff of ice. Upgraded ice staff, which is a... Obviously, a better version of the normal ice staff, which if you hold... I just accidentally teleported. It's fine. If you hold R2, then you get a like a tornado effect with the ice, and you just get more ammo as well with the upgraded version. So, yeah, that's about it. Here, I'll show you the uh, upgraded. And like a little tornado. So, yeah, that's it. Here is the unupgraded wind staff, and that's round, but you, you get the idea. It's like a... It's a mini thunder gun. You'll see better with the upgraded version. Yeah. The upgraded wind staff. Uh, it's. Here's the charge attack. That's like the only difference between this and the normal wind staff. And yeah, it just creates a tornado. Very, very cool. And yeah, that's the wind staff. Off the conservant gameplay. It's the black hole gun. And yes, we've been hitting. This is like our third game on Revelations trying to get this thing. So. Here it is, and I'll show you the upgraded version next. Pack a punch version of the Apothic and Servant. Um, you can only do this on Revelations, which is why we did this on Revelations. <laughs> it's just a red hole, more ammo. I believe maybe it's there longer. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's basically the same thing. And yeah, that's it. Now on to the next weapon. The Ancients, the normal unupgraded bow for DE. Nothing special about it. It will be good in the early rounds, but do basically nothing in the later rounds. So next is all four of the other bows. The fire bow gameplay, uh, the charged attack does uh, spawns a volcano, and it just eats them up. And then the normal attack is more like the unupgraded bow, and it just kills them, but it's more powerful. So that is the fire bow. In bow gameplay, slash storm bow. Uh, I don't really know what people call this thing, but 
yeah, here's the charged attack. It has like a little thunderstorm. The normal attack is just like shoots a bit of lightning. And yeah, that's the lightning bow. Oh, upgrade. This is the charged attack. It's slightly like a thunder gun. And this is the normal attack with it. This is the, my usual go-to for the bows. Not the best, but is one of the more fun ones in my opinion. They just go flying. So yeah, that's the wolf bow, and on to the next one. Void bow gameplay. It just creates a void, and skulls come out and murder the zombies. That is the charged attack. The normal attack um, just kind of kills them. It spawns like a quick void, I guess. But yeah, that's all the bows, I believe. So yeah, on to the next. Gameplay. Yeah, this, it just blows them up. <laughs> This is the unupgraded version. I'll show you the upgraded version next. So, yeah. All right, here is the GKZ45 Mark III, which is the Ray Gun Mark III. And here's the first ability, which is just a normal shot. We have the second ability, which slows them down. Like that. And then we have the third ability, which is this. And it sucks them up kind of like the, like the, um, the Apothecan. And, oh, fire. But yes, that is the unupgraded version of the Ray Gun Mark III. And I will show you the upgraded next. Ray Gun Mark III Pack a Punch. Here's the normal Ray Gun. I uh, don't want that. Uh, here is that portion. And here is that. It's just larger, more ammo, all that jazz. So, yeah. Very fun one weapon to use. And on to the next. Here is the upgraded version. Um, once we get it back. <laughs> The Secrets Kiss. This thing looks awesome. Definitely aesthetically cool. You hold it down. You get a... Whatever's going on here. But you can just shoot him as well. Does the same effect. It'll kill him for quite a while. It's very good to use on... Blight Fathers and all that. So yeah, that's the Death of Orion. Here is the unupgraded Kraken Wonder Weapon. This thing is a beast. <laughs> and is the reason why Voyage was higher than it probably should have been on my ranking every maps. Go check that video out if you haven't. There'll be a link in the description. But yes, that's a little plug. But yeah, the Kraken's a beast. This thing just shreds zombies for... I know it's round three. But it will continue to shred for a while, and I'll show you the pack of punched version next. Graded Kraken, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It is the, it, it's the same thing. More ammo, but it's a beast, and this thing will shred for a while. And yeah, that's Voyager Despair. And on to, I believe, I don't know the next map. So yeah, you'll see whatever it is next. So yeah. Sniper version, I don't really know what it's actually called. It's the Wonder Wolf, but it's a sniper. And that's, it's pretty cool. This is the unupgraded version, and yeah. Graded Wonder Wolf Sniper thing. <laughs> it's, again, very similar to the original, or to the unupgraded version, but definitely has more ammo. And yeah, that's about it for this weapon. The Tundra... Not the Thunder Gun. Yes, the Tundra Gun. It's basically the Winner's Howl, but in thunder gun form so yeah this is the unupgraded version i think there's an upgraded version and if there is you'll see that next tundra gun it is basically again kind of like the winter's hell it's the same thing except more ammo that's kind of most wonder weapons but yeah, here it is it's yeah the tundra gun <laughs> and this is the last wonder weapon actually so, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you maybe learned something, seen, maybe seen a Wonder Weapon you've never used, or maybe never seen, possibly, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.